look, I'm going to be mean here for a second, but look, they're Nazis. Who fucking cares? These, this is the, the superior race right here, guys. These are the genetically superior uh, folks. They're just, uh, they're just better than us. Uh, yeah, this guy. Oh, come on. That's, this is what yeah. a real man looks like. You know, you may not like it, but this is the ideal male form. <laughs> this is the peak alpha male. Yeah. We're about inclusive. I don't understand it. Turns out Disney Plus is really not good at putting out good programming. And we're going to talk about that after a quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Antelope Hill Publishing. Antelope Hill Publishing is America's leading publisher of dissident books. Their eclectic catalog includes Lord Miles' memoir of his first... So here I uh, helpfully added the Wikipedia entry to uh, Antelope Hill. Hmm. Uh, so Antelope Hill is an American white nationalist publisher based in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. It's known for selling translations of historical works by Nazis, fascists, and ultranationalists, as well as new works by far-right writers. It was founded in 2020. The Southern Poverty Poverty Law Center has called Antelope Hill an anti-Semitic hate hate group. Uh, yeah, man, the quartering. It, it, and this this is the kind of interesting thing, I guess, is that it was in a subreddit that I've visited before called "The Quartering is a Nazi," right? Mm. Um, I've subreddit. gotten gotten stuff out of there before, but I've, at the same time, I've always been like, you know, like just now when I was very specific about what a neo-Nazi is. Uh, I, I would see that and I go, ah, man, that's kind of, I don't like when people just call everybody a Nazi. So like, I think that kind of undermines, uh, what, you know, trying to talk about these things when you're just yeah. like, oh, that person. So I kind of would kind of push, you know, like, ah, yeah, he said some cringe shit that's racist, but is he a Nazi? I don't know about that. Well, I was wrong. It seems like, um, yeah. because even if he doesn't hold any literal Nazi views, but he actually does, you know, um, mm -hmm. This is effectively making yourself a fucking Nazi. He is accepting money and sponsorship from literal fucking neo Nazis. And to, yeah. to, you know, that's it. That's a, like, this is either him open, like, like just supporting a Nazi group, letting it sponsor him, or he's just that dumb and inconsiderate and doesn't take the time to actually research the companies that come to him for sponsorships. But, I don't but, that, that's but that's, but that's being like incredibly charitable, you know? Yeah. Like, like um, that, that, the incredibly charitable thing to say is that he's just like an idiot, that he's just stupid. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that, you know? I, I mean, I think he is pretty stupid, but like, I don't, I yeah, think but, it's... but not like, like, like fully just doesn't know anything, you know, it's just like, oh, money, you know, he, he is openly supporting it. Yeah, it's a uh, it's it's he's morally stupid, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, for sure. I mean, the, see, this is what we're kind of just saying. Whatever his motive is, it doesn't matter because the effect is that he is platforming a fucking uh, hate group, a literal hate group, mm -hmm. designated a hate group. Um, you know, a, a, who uh, are openly avowed white nationalists who dedicate their their lives to, you know, uh, propagating neo Nazi and fascist uh, ideas out into the world. As if we need any more of that. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, that, like, you don't need to, like, actively have said, oh, I believe in this thing to support it, right? Right. And be part of it rising and be part of it, the problem. Like, like, like there, there, there are people who, like, supported the Nazis who weren't officially, like, mm -hmm. who, who didn't think of themselves as Nazis, you know? And and the right loves to try to like create a create an environment where that's um uh where where it's cool to do that because they're like oh guilt by association kind of thing and it's like well no mm -hmm. I don't believe that I don't believe that you're always guilty by being associated with somebody who's done something shitty or whatever I don't it's not a universal rule but when it comes to Nazis man uh, when it comes to people who are just openly avowed hate mongers and shit um, there's a saying that goes if you've got uh, ten people and uh at a table and nine of them are nazis you've got 10 nazis yeah you know and i think that applies to this 100 percent um oh yeah i mean of course of course um and, and, and you know yeah. we've been doing this for quite a while and i've been doing it almost four years now i've covered him a few times and one thing i've noticed is the quarterings audience has to be the most copy pasta dumb fuckers out of any of the audiences that have bombarded my channel 
Yeah. Whenever whenever I get bombarded by them, it's just like cook, 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 cook. So we, you know, like the, all the fucking memes and shit from yeah. 2016. I don't even get them very often. I can't remember ever having been bombarded by his fans. <sighs> but 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 maybe I have and I, and I just didn't realize, but it was just like, yeah. I I don't know if, if this is correct, but I don't see the courting as having that much influence anymore. No, like, that's... like not compared to how he used to. He right. just has like a core audience. True. He and he does. And I and I'm willing to bet that a good bit of them with all these guys, really, there's like a bot situation happening to some degree. Mm -hmm. Um, but the thing that's concerning is that this hasn't, as far as I know or seen, gotten a whole lot of pushback so far. No. Um, and and maybe the quartering doesn't have a whole lot of influence, but if, a, if one of his buddies in the fandom menace, right? Because now the fandom menace officially has a member or one of their, you know, uh, regular people who associates directly and accepts funding from a neo Nazi group. Yes. Um, like, it's, so it's pretty hard how long, evidence. How long before one of them are doing something like this? You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, they've already had Gavin McGinnis on Al Alex mm -hmm. Jones, but this is a, uh, there's, there's no, there's no fucking shred of reasonable doubt, benefit of the doubt with this, in my opinion. With like, even with Alex Jones and, and uh, you know, uh, Gavin McInnes, I don't, I wouldn't buy it, but I can understand that they might be able to make the argument to some people that like, hey, we're just interviewing somebody, you know, like we, we kind of argued with them and like, we don't agree with them or whatever. Like, okay, there's some degree of fucking reasonable doubt if it wasn't for mm -hmm. all of the pattern of rhetoric and, and shit that they've done in the years prior. But yeah. with this, there's no separation. In my no. No, yeah, uh, like like this is just full on. Like this is concrete evidence. Yeah. And um and and I hope we'll be able to push it out so that more people get to see it, both through Twitter, um, yes. through a video clip uh of this stream. Yep. Um yeah, and just like as many people sharing it as possible. Because um please do. And and this isn't yeah. like you know, this seriously isn't like us trying to do this for our own platform. You know, even if you don't share our video, share the information. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's this. That's what we care about. Because sometimes you'll you'll see someone get sponsored by a company, right? And then they have a history of something, right? These were founded in 2020, and they've already been labeled as a hate group, as an anti-Semitic hate group. They've they've pushed all these like. uh books by nazis and fascists and stuff and even new ones you know it's not just the old ones because it could be like oh but those are historical like even newer far-right writers right yep i mean that's that's what really sold it for me too was like okay mm -hmm. it'd be one thing i don't you know i don't believe that fascist uh old fascist books you know or should be thrown away necessarily no. you know what i mean there's there's no, a specific no, yeah. place that they should be probably but like yeah. I don't think that it makes you a fucking fascist to own one of these books or something. So it's like, that would be a degree of like, okay, benefit of the doubt. But like when you're literally publishing current fucking people that are like on yeah. hate watch lists and shit. Uh, yeah, true. A hundred percent. And like you have a responsibility as someone with a platform. I believe that, you know, these guys are totally still on him. Um, and, and you bet your ass that any one of these channels, especially like the quartering, he would also openly say, I do not support the Nazis, you know, like if, if anyone accused him of supporting sure. Nazis, he'd, he'd be completely against it, but they don't, they don't believe in anything. So this is a anonymous comrades collective. This is a, uh, you know, kind of, uh, hate watch group. Um, mm. you know, SPLC is like an official, like, you know, legit, uh, one. I mean, this one is just more of like a, a citizen one. Uh, mm -hmm. but they've, you know, they've done stuff like, find the names of the people because all of their, their company is, is a, uh, it's an LLC and it's under, originally under fake names. They go on podcasts yeah. all the time under fake names, but they figured out their name and stuff, their names. It's a, uh, this nice. is a couple, you know, like a young couple from Pennsylvania, you know, they're, they're Nazis, man. Like there's just no way around it. Uh, look, this is what they posted on Hitler's birthday, birthday boy. How oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. See here, they're talking about how a number, the number of the uh, authors uh, are new. A modern neo Nazis, mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah. then you're at, you're actively supporting new works from fascists and neo Nazis. Right. It's not just yeah. like like you pop like like republishing Mein Kampf, right? Like like that's not going to do anything for its popularity. 
Right. You know, everyone knows it, but it's like, mm -hmm. like you're actively supporting new fascists and neo-Nazis. And Mein Kampf is definitely written with a lot of context that's specific to uh, the the period in the in the in the region. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like there's not a lot that I mean, you can apply like this stuff's being written about things that are going on now. Exactly, um, and 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 like you said, we should not get rid of this history, right? Like like works like my like Mein Kampf can teach us a lot of stuff, right? For example, like like ha, ha, understanding fascism, right? Like how do, how do we prevent it? We don't need publishers to promote new thinkers you know that that's yeah yeah it's not gonna that's not gonna i mean yeah help we, anything mein Kampf is good to it, it has value because like you can see that hitler was a whiny bitch you know what i mean uh yeah <laughs> it, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah uh and then i just wanted to point this out look i'm gonna be mean here for a second but look they're nazis who fucking cares these this is the the superior race right here guys these are the genetically superior uh, folks that consider themselves just inherently their existence is higher than most. These guys would win the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> They're just, uh, just better than us. Uh, yeah, this guy. Oh, come on. That's this is what yeah. a real man looks like. You know, you may not like it, but this is the ideal male form. <laughs> <laughs> this is the peak alpha male. Yeah. Anyways, this is what Andrew um, Tate is talking about. So yep. like, go out and become these people. That's it. This is a, uh, it's easy alpha and the omega. God damn it. Answered by corporations or governments, whether you count yourself a political. Look, he's just like soullessly reading from a thing too. Uh, yeah. I, wa I watched like a podcast of, of uh, like a couple people and it's just like, they always just like read off their phone for their sponsorships. And it's like, it's kind of just like not really doing much, but that's for like some AirPods, you know? Right. Like who cares? This is just, like mindlessly reading from a fucking like fascist promoting public. Yeah. I mean it's it's like the fact that he's reading it as if he's promoting AirPods is fucking disturbing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just oh this is the new uh, uh, the thank new... you so much to uh <laughs> the, the the neo Nazis for sponsoring this <laughs> episode's um this bit thank you guys so much. You know you guys should really check like let's see who's who do we got today? Is it uh League of Legends? No, no, the League of Aryans Brotherhood. I, I see. Um <laughs> I love it in here. I fucking love it!